Hello and welcome to another episode of Fully Charged. This is the update special. Now, I'm in a Tesla Model S, not mine, as you might be able to tell. Uh, and this Tesla Model S is currently being driven by Hamish, who works at Tesla's uh, showroom in Bristol. Is that right, Hamish? Correct, yeah. And we're just going out for a drive very quickly on the M5 in uh, just outside Bristol to experience um, autopilot, because my car has had the version 7 update but it hasn't had the version 7 update with autopilot i've been asked about this a lot and so we've quickly nipped down to bristol to have a look at what so i've got everything on my car is the same as this except for this one last little update that i'm still waiting for and i knew that once my update comes i'll be doing red dwarf i won't be able to show you so i thought let's grab the opportunity while we can so we're now doing 66 on the motorway and Hamish will not let go of the steering wheel because you're not allowed to, but the car will effectively drive itself at some point. Yeah. So, so what do you do? You do a double... Double tap of, of that there. <sighs> and then uh, with once you see this blue symbol right. on here, um, you know that the car... Has... And does the steering feel different it now does, to you? So it goes yeah, stiffer. It, correct, yeah. So, you, so you'll, you need to sort of slightly fight the car to get control back, very, right. very slightly. Um, but as you say, important that you keep your hands on yeah. um, and in control all the time. But then the thing, the, the, so the, what it's doing now is it's seeing the white lines on the road, it's seeing the vehicle in front. So if we go up, because yeah, there's a truck uh, yeah. overtaking us, overtaking a, a head. So once it gets nearer that, it won't run into the back of it. <laughs> exactly. So so it's, that, that's still part oh, of it. Wait a minute, I've just realised that your feet aren't anywhere near the pedals. Correct, yeah. So <laughs> so it's, it's doing all that part of it. So that's just right. the, the active cruise control. Right. Um, which, I, which I've had in another, in another Tesla, which did that very well. It kept yeah. your distance from the vehicle in front. Yeah. Um, and then, actually, this is a good demonstration because it's now slowing down a little bit for the truck in front. Right. Um, I'm very lightly on the wheel and it's doing all that part of it for me. So now that truck's pulling over. Yeah. It's starting to go a, again. A, yeah. I love the images you get on the dash of the other vehicles. Yeah. They, and what I can do as well now is if I put the indicator on, that's, that's not... Oh, my God. That's not me. That isn't you doing that. And then you cancel it and you're in the other lane. But if there was someone in effectively your blind spot at yeah. that moment, it would register that and not... Yeah, I mean, it's again, it's important for the driver to do that check themselves sure. first. Um, but once you're, you're sure it's clear, the car will check as well. Right. Um, and then I'll, I'll just go back because I'm in someone's way. Wow. And, and again, that's that wasn't my input on the steering wow. wheel. So that's going to that's a very new driving experience then. That the yeah. the because you 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 know because I think I think it's extremely wise. Unlike the many rather ridiculous uh, people who, who put videos on YouTube where they're driving along like this, it's very wise to be in that position. Very much so. And the, and, um, and in a sense, your driving experience in this kind of driving, which is essentially boring, is going to be more relaxed because you've got so much extra backup exactly yeah it, it, it does become a lot more um, yeah yeah because I certainly found the what I always call adaptive cruise control but you call what do you uh, whatever that word. we call it, yeah traffic aware cruise traffic control. aware cruise control it was brilliant because I it, just yeah. then I just did steering I didn't have yeah. to do anything else and, and, and once you, you trust really have to do the steering yeah exactly yeah. Um, and it is I've done a couple of journeys London to Bristol um, with the car on auto steer pretty much the whole way on good right. on good motorway roads and yeah, you, you, it takes a lot of the stress out of the driving. So at the, at the moment, is it relying on the? Oh my god! It is very, yeah, it's, it's takes relying a on. To get used so to it's it. relying on the white lines. That's is yeah. it. That's its main input. Is the white lines and other vehicles? Exactly right. Yeah, um, you can see whenever you've got um, the, the lines here in blue. That, so means, that it's, means it's, it's got very the, clearly. Yeah, seeing them. Well, that is uh, that was brilliant, Hamish. Thank you so much for for giving me a quick demonstration of that. Pleasure. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to it in my own Model S. But, you know, you've got to be patient. You know, it's always worth not being an early adopter, and it's always worth holding on to your steering wheel. That's all for this episode of Fully Charged. If you have been, thank you for watching.